Welcome to the only series that compares the 10 dairy cow breeds with the best global performance, focusing on maximum productivity and adaptation to diverse climates. Across three videos, we will deeply analyze the most important breeds, Holstein, Jersey, Brown Swiss, Normand, Montbelliard, Cemental, Ayrshire, Guernsey, Milking Shorthorn, and Gur. We will analyze the keys to optimal management for each one, their longevity, milk quality, and their beef value to the operation. In this first installment, we present the three global giants that define current dairy production and can improve your system. The Holstein, the undisputed queen of maximum yield, the Jersey, the champion of solids and efficiency, and the Brown Swiss, the hardy and long-lived cow. We will break down the 11 pillars of productivity and management for each one, so you know whether you need volume or quality. Don't miss this first part, and be sure to subscribe to complete the series with the remaining 7 breeds. Let's get started. 1. Holstein Cow, the queen of global volume. Origin The Holstein breed originates from Friesland and Holland, the Netherlands and Germany. It is the most influential cow in the global dairy industry. It is the world standard for high production, consolidating its expansion starting in the 19th century, especially in North America. Its angular silhouette with black and white, or red and white markings, is genetically designed for specialized volume production. Adult females are imposing in size, weighing between 1,500 and 1,700 pounds and reaching a height of 57 to 65 inches at the withers. This large dimension is a logistical requirement to house the digestive and circulatory systems necessary to process the massive amounts of nutrients needed to sustain high milk output. Volume and Record The main factor for Holstein profitability is volume. In efficient commercial systems, the average annual production per lactation, of about 305 days, consistently sits between 2,250 and 2,650 gallons. Individual records surpass 8,450 gallons in a single lactation, demonstrating unmatched genetic potential for volume. This volume capacity justifies the high costs of intensive feeding and management, as production exceeding 2,375 gallons per cow allows fixed costs, technology labor housing, to be diluted across a greater number of gallons, which is fundamental for competitiveness in the liquid milk market. Quality and Price Holstein milk is of average quality in total solids, with an average composition of 3.5% butterfat and 3.1% protein. These percentages are significantly lower than those of specialized breeds, like the Jersey, so in markets that pay for composition, cheese making, the base value per gallon is lower. Due to its low yield for cheese manufacturing, the Holstein is primarily oriented toward the liquid milk and pasteurization market. For the cheese making industry, Holstein milk often needs to be supplemented or mixed with milk of higher solids content, like Normand, to increase the yield per pound of final product. Feed Efficiency The Holstein is efficient in converting feed to milk, but it demands a high energy density diet to sustain production. Its profitability is directly tied to the quality and cost of this concentrated feed, with maximum efficiency achieved during the peak of lactation. It is not a suitable breed for low input or extensive grazing systems. In low-quality or variable pastures, its efficiency drops drastically, making it the least profitable option for dairy operations that cannot guarantee a constant supply of top-tier concentrated feed. Productive Longevity The productive longevity of the Holstein is relatively medium to low, with an average useful lifespan typically ranging from 3 to 4 lactations, about 5 to 6 years of age. This short cycle is a direct consequence of the metabolic stress imposed by its high productive yield. This short useful life translates into a high annual culling rate, between 25% and 30%. The main causes for culling are reproductive failure, chronic lameness, and recurrent mastitis problems. The high investment in replacement is only justified if the cow exceeds average production in those few lactations. Utter Health The Holstein is moderately susceptible to costly health problems, especially clinical and subclinical mastitis. The large size and weight of its udder, coupled with the enormous milk flow, make it vulnerable to infections. This is one of the leading causes of culling in the breed. It also exhibits a higher incidence of lameness and hoof problems due to its high weight and the necessity of housing on hard surfaces. Management demands rigorous milking routines, constant monitoring of the somatic cell count, and high comfort facility design to mitigate high veterinary costs. Dual Purpose The pure Holstein offers very low additional value from the sale of its male offspring. Calves are slow-growing, with poor muscle development and an angular body structure, unsuitable for efficient, high-quality beef production in specialized markets. The carcass yield of pure Holstein steers is low, ranging between 48% and 52%, well below the yield of specialized beef breeds. Therefore, the most profitable strategy is crossing with beef semen, such as Angus and Limousin, 
in those cows with low replacement potential, generating a calf with dual value and additional income. Climatic Adaptability The Holstein is the least hardy breed analyzed, designed to thrive exclusively in temperate and cool climates. It is extremely vulnerable to heat stress. At temperatures exceeding 75 degrees Fahrenheit, it drastically reduces feed intake, causing an immediate drop in production, between 10% and 25% volume loss. This lack of heat tolerance makes it unprofitable in the tropics of Latin America, unless costly cooling, misting, and ventilation systems are invested in. The most profitable and common solution for the tropics is crossing with the Gur breed, generating the Girolando cross, which does provide the necessary resistance. Fertility and Cycle the reproductive efficiency of the Holstein is a constant challenge, with an ideal target calving interval of 12 to 13 months. However, the high energy demand of its milk production often causes a prolonged negative energy balance after calving, delaying its return to estrus and lowering the conception rate. Achieving an optimal calving interval demands intensive management, including hormonal synchronization protocols and extremely high-quality nutrition to minimize the loss of body condition. These specialized management requirements add to the herd's operating costs. Calving Ease In general, the Holstein exhibits good calving ease. Calves are born with a moderate to large weight, between 88 and 100 pounds, but the cow's pelvic structure and good muscle relaxation rarely cause severe dystocia, difficult births. Difficulty in calving is more often due to management issues, such as inseminating heifers at an incorrect age or weight, rather than a genetic problem with the breed. Good calving ease contributes positively to longevity and profitability, minimizing mother and calf mortality, management, and temperament. The Holstein is a breed of generally docile and calm temperament, making it ideal for intensive management. Its calmness facilitates automated milking routines, feeding in corrals, and high animal turnover in the milking parlor. Its efficiency is maximized in intensive and housed production systems. It is not suitable for extensive grazing systems where the cow is required to walk long distances. Its high milk flow rate and large udder capacity are key to efficient turnover in high output milking parlors. 2. Jersey Cow the champion of solids and efficiency. Origin The Jersey breed originated on the island of Jersey in the English Channel, which has allowed for genetic selection for purity and high milk quality for centuries. It is recognized as the smallest and most refined dairy breed, but also the world's most efficient in converting feed to milk solids, specializing in the value-added market. Jersey females are notably smaller than the Holstein, weighing between 770 and 1,100 pounds and with a height of only 45 to 47 inches at the withers. Its compact size, combined with large abdominal capacity, gives it an efficiency advantage, as its maintenance requirements are much lower than those of larger breeds, allowing more energy to be directed toward milk production. Volume and Record The argument for Jersey profitability is not volume, but quality. Although its average annual production per lactation, 305 days, sits between 1,450 and 2,000 gallons in commercial systems, this milk has a significantly higher value due to its composition. This more than offsets the lower volume compared to the Holstein. In terms of potential, the productive records of the best genetic Jersey lines show they can exceed 3,170 gallons per lactation. Its main economic advantage lies in the fact that, per pound of body weight, the Jersey produces more pounds of milk solids than any other breed, making it the true engine of profitability in value-added milk. Quality and Price Jersey milk is the highest quality and highest value on the market with an average composition exceeding 5% butterfat and 3.7% protein. Furthermore, the butterfat has a characteristic yellow color, and its protein contains a high percentage of casein, ideal for coagulation in cheese manufacturing. This high concentration of solids drastically raises its price in value markets. In payment schemes based on composition, Jersey milk can generate up to 30% more income per gallon than Holstein milk. This makes it the preferred choice for manufacturing butter, premium cheeses, and yogurts. Feed Efficiency The Jersey is renowned for its exceptional feed conversion efficiency, as it can maintain profitable production while consuming a lower amount of dry matter. It is a superior forager, capable of extracting a high amount of nutrients from medium-quality pastures and forages, which reduces the reliance on costly concentrates. Its smaller body size and efficient energy maintenance allow the Jersey to achieve the same solids yield as a larger cow, but with less feed. This makes it the ideal choice for intensive grazing systems and for operations looking to minimize supplemental feed costs. Productive Longevity The Jersey enjoys outstanding productive longevity, with an average useful lifespan often exceeding 6 to 7 lactations, about 9 to 10 years of age. Its lower metabolic stress, due to production focused on quality rather than extreme volume, allows it to remain fertile and healthy for a longer time. 
As a result, the annual culling rate in Jersey herds is low, generally ranging between 10% and 15%. This longevity substantially reduces the cost of herd replacement, improving long-term profitability and ensuring that the most mature, and therefore most productive, cows remain in the herd. Utter Health The Jersey has excellent utter health, being intrinsically more resistant to mastitis compared to the Holstein. Its udder is compact and well-attached to the body, which minimizes exposure to injury and contamination. Its narrower milk canals also act as a natural defense barrier. Despite its resistance, its small size and refinement require adapted milking facilities, sometimes shallower pits, to ensure comfort and prevent injury. The low incidence of mastitis, along with a low rate of lameness due to its lower weight, significantly reduces veterinary costs and health-related culling. Dual Purpose Traditionally, the pure Jersey bull offered very low value for beef due to its low muscle mass. However, its added value has changed drastically in the last decade as the Jersey calf has become the preferred raw material for manufacturing veal due to its texture and light color. Nevertheless, the most profitable strategy today is crossing with beef breeds, especially Angus. The Jersey Angus cross produces steers with excellent yield, taking advantage of the Jersey's calving ease and the Angus's rapid muscle development, generating significant additional income for the herd. Climatic Adaptability The Jersey is an extremely hardy and adaptable breed, thriving in a wide variety of climates, from temperate regions to subtropical zones. Its pigmented skin and compact structure give it good heat tolerance, outperforming the Holstein in warm climates. Its ability to dissipate heat and its disease resistance make it an excellent option for grazing in areas where the Holstein cannot remain productive without costly cooling systems. In the tropics, its performance is superior, requiring less investment in infrastructure. Fertility and Cycle The reproductive efficiency of the Jersey is outstanding. It is precocious and reaches sexual maturity at an early age. Its target calving interval of 12 to 13 months is much easier to achieve than in other high-volume breeds, as its lower metabolic stress minimizes the duration of the negative energy balance post-calving. This high fertility and rapid conception ability are crucial for profitability, as they ensure the cow returns to production with a new calf annually. This translates into lower fertilization costs and higher lifetime productivity. Calving Ease The Jersey is the breed that offers the greatest calving ease among dairy breeds. Calves are small, with a moderate birth weight, generally between 55 and 66 pounds, resulting in an almost non-existent incidence of severe dystocia, difficult births, even in first calf heifers. This characteristic is fundamental for reducing mother and calf mortality, minimizing the need for veterinary assistance. Therefore, Jersey bulls are highly valued for inseminating first calf heifers of other larger breeds to mitigate the risk of dystocia. Management and Temperament The Jersey is a breed of nervous and sensitive temperament, requiring calmer and more consistent handling than the Holstein to avoid stress, which can affect production. However, its small size makes it ideal for corrals and shoots with reduced dimensions. Its efficiency is maximized in intensive and rotational grazing systems, where it can utilize its superior foraging ability. Although adaptable to housing, its true economic value is obtained in systems that prioritize the conversion of quality grass into high solids milk. 3. Brown Swiss Cow, the Hardy and Long-Lived Cow Origin The brown Swiss breed originated in the Swiss Alps, a mountainous region that forced natural selection toward hardiness, strength, and adaptability. It is the second most numerous dairy breed globally, and is recognized as a truly dual-purpose breed, milk and beef, noted for its longevity and adaptability. Females are medium to large, weighing between 1,320 and 1,540 pounds, with a height ranging from 55 to 59 inches at the withers. Its large skeleton and strong musculature, inherited from its mountain history, make it ideal for quality beef production at the end of its productive life, a valuable secondary income. Volume and Record The Brown Swiss is situated at a midpoint between the extreme volume of the Holstein and the quality of the Jersey. Its average annual production per lactation consistently sits between 2,000 and 2,375 gallons in well-managed systems. Its production peak is reached in later lactations, 5th to 7th, unlike the Holstein. Its economic value is centered on the consistency of volume over an extended productive life, rather than an explosive production peak. It is the preferred breed for producers seeking a balance between volume, longevity, and durability, surpassing 4,000 gallons in individual records. Quality and Price Brown Swiss milk is of high quality, making it ideal for cheese production due to its excellent fat-to-protein ratio. Its average composition is approximately 4% butterfat and 3.5% protein. Its main advantage is the type of casein it contains, which improves cheese-making yield. The higher solids content and the quality of its casein raise its value in specialized markets. 
It is the most popular breed in the production of traditional European hard and semi-hard cheeses. Its milk is better suited for processing than Holstein milk. Feed Efficiency The Brown Swiss is a highly efficient breed, noted for its ability to convert medium and low-quality forages into milk. This efficiency is due to its hearty nature and digestive system, which allows it to maximize nutrient extraction from diets based on hay and pasture. Its conversion efficiency is optimal in systems where forage is the main component. Although it responds well to concentrate supplementation, its ability to maintain production on cheaper diets makes it a very profitable option for farms looking to reduce concentrate costs. Productive Longevity The longevity of the brown Swiss cow is one of its greatest economic strengths, with an average useful lifespan exceeding 7 lactations, about 10 to 12 years of age. Its hardiness and lower metabolic stress allow it to reach production peaks in later lactations, unlike other breeds. The annual culling rate in the herd is low, generally between 12% and 18%. This reduces the cost of herd replacement and allows the rancher to profit from the genetic and rearing investment for a longer period, being a fundamental pillar for the operation's economy. Utter Health Brown Swiss Utter Health is generally very good. Its udder is strong, well-attached, and less prone to mastitis problems than the Holstein. The breed is known for having consistently lower somatic cell counts, which is a key indicator of mammary health. Its mountainous origin characteristic provides great hoof strength, which translates into a lower incidence of lameness, even in housed conditions. These factors of resistance to high-cost diseases reduce the need for veterinary investment and minimize culling due to health reasons. Dual Purpose The added value of the Brown Swiss is very significant, as it is considered a true dual-purpose breed, milk and beef. The males develop excellent muscle and achieve high weights with good conformation, competing in the beef finishing market. The carcass yield of steers is competitive, ranging between 55% and 58%, superior to the pure Holstein. This additional income, along with its longevity, provides the rancher with a substantial second source of revenue, mitigating the risk associated with fluctuations in milk prices. Climatic Adaptability The brown Swiss is exceptionally hardy, and the European origin dairy breed with the greatest adaptability. It excels in cold and temperate climates, but has also demonstrated excellent performance in subtropical and high-altitude mountain conditions, surpassing the Holstein's heat stress threshold. Its thick, dark skin, along with an efficient thermal regulation mechanism, makes it viable in warm regions, although it benefits from shading. Its versatility has made it a fundamental breed for dairy herds in Latin America, especially in Andean and subtropical regions. Fertility and Cycle the fertility of the brown Swiss cow is very good, and the cow has great ease in achieving the 12-13 to 13 month calving interval target. Like the Jersey, its lower metabolic stress compared to the Holstein facilitates a rapid return to the reproductive cycle after calving. The breed is known for its high conception rate and reproductive regularity. This efficiency, combined with its longevity, ensures the cow remains active in the herd for many years, consistently producing one calf per year. Calving Ease The brown Swiss cow exhibits good calving ease, Calves are born with an intermediate weight, generally between 88 and 100 pounds. But the mother's large and strong body structure handles this weight well, resulting in a low incidence of dystocia. Thanks to its hardiness and size, calvings are normally straightforward, reducing risks to the mother and calf. Its maternal ability, along with its quality milk production, ensures robust calf growth, management, and temperament. The Brown Swiss is known for its calm, docile, and intelligent temperament, which greatly facilitates its daily management on the farm. Its calmness makes it ideal for milking systems and handling large groups. Its hardiness makes it adaptable to both grazing systems on challenging terrain, mountain, hilly, and intensive housing systems. Its versatility in management and its foraging ability confirm it as one of the most flexible and resilient breeds in dairy production. We've completed the first video of our genetic strategy, deeply analyzing the Holstein, Jersey, and Brown Swiss through their 11 pillars of productivity. You now have a solid foundation to decide whether your system should prioritize global volume or robustness and longevity in your herd. If this analysis helped you understand the true value of your cattle, support us by leaving a like and sharing this video with other ranchers who need it. But the strategy doesn't end here. The true optimization of your herd lies in diversity. In the next episode, we will talk about the three master breeds that combine dairy efficiency with excellent beef value and which are fundamental in crossbreeding and dual purpose programs. We will talk about the Normand, Montbelliard, and Cemental cow breeds. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to not miss the second installment of this saga. To your success, fellow breeder, until next time.